Welcome back to another segment of Michigan Conservative Roundtable. Please like, share, and subscribe. This past week, and I think it was on a Monday, I saw a news article that brought me to a screeching halt. It was about a new Superman that's come out. He is the offspring of the original Superman. If you recall, his alias is Clark Kent. This new Superman is the offspring of Clark Kent and Lois Lane. He is as strong as his father, and the son's character's alias name is John Kent. DC comic book series is titling it Superman, son of Cal L. And per my research, Cal L was the original Superman's name. He's from Krypton, if you recall, so Cal L is Superman's Kryptonian name. Issue number five reveals that uh, Superman has opted for an alternative lifestyle. It appears he enjoys the company of young men just as much, if not more, than young women. You know, at, at the risk of being naive, I never imagined or considered or gave it a thought of the finer details of any kind of romance, intimacy, that might uh, be between uh, Clark Kent and Lois Lane. And now you think about the intimacies of the son of Superman and uh, whatever partner he may choose. You know, for starters, you have to ignore science. And what I mean by that is Superman, the original Superman, was from Krypton. So his DNA would not be compatible with the DNA of Lois Lane, a mere earthling. But ignoring the science has never been an issue for the left. But consider the risks, the hazards of such intimacy between a Kryptonian and a mere earthling. Lest we forget, we're talking about a being that is faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap high buildings in a single bound. So what if, what if, in the height of intimacy, his climax is a little too climatic. Just consider how fatal that could be. And I have yet to mention the crude gutter street speech that some could use to describe such acts of intimacy. <clears throat> and for you Trekkies out there, something's telling me this beats Klingon sex. Now, of course, I'm being ridiculous. But this is the latest dish of bovine excrement we're being served, expected to ingest, and then forced to ask for a second. Thank goodness I'm not into comic books. And I'm not exactly, I don't exactly give a rodent's derriere of the subject matter or, or content of any given comic book. <clears throat> But once again, we have something honorable and virtuous, a tradition sullied by the left. If I am not mistaken, Superman was the embodiment of what this country stood for. Truth, justice, the American way. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again and I'll keep saying it. Nothing is beyond the pale with these people. The latest example of societal breakdown. And I guess now we're stuck with not buying DC comic books, which never was a problem with me anyways. So that's it. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me.